Today is Tuesday, June 29th, 2021. My name is Alex, and I'm a corporate cowboy. This is the Corporate Cowboys podcast. You can follow us on Instagram. That's Corporate Cowboys, the page. You'll recognize it. You can subscribe. We're on Patreon. Shoot us a dollar. Place your bets. <laughs> um, vote. There you go. Vote with your dollar and keep this operation non for profit. Um, this Tuesday, I wanted to talk about love and uh, commitment and what that means in terms of corporate. You might have heard that love can get you killed in the street, that is. Love might be perceived as weakness, but uh, things are, are different in corporate. They're just as deadly. They're just as fatal. But in corporate, love can make you a murderer. Love can make you a killer. You have to learn to kill with love. The love can, the love must be unending, unceasing. Can't ever have enough love for the work that is. <laughs> you gotta enjoy what you do and how you do it. The process is the destination the product the byproduct that is the money the no the notoriety the rank the reputation that's all secondary that all comes second that's all auxiliary that's the cherry on top But that substance, that material that provides you with a livelihood, that that want to not kill yourself, <laughs> that want to not end it all, no matter how difficult your days are, no matter how difficult your deals are, no matter how difficult the people that you interact with are, it's love at the end of the day. Even if it isn't love for yourself, because you got to keep yourself healthy and a whole bunch of us got a slew of unhealthy habits that we're either working to break from or simply enjoying. Seeing us how we are about that life. You have to love what you do. You have to love the work. You have to get close to it. Be intimate with the work, with the dirt. You have to really marinate in it. Be in the trenches. You have to breathe it. You have to drink it. Eat it. Damn near become it. And that's pushing a line. But um, I think the closest one can analogize it to is marrying it. And even if you are afraid of commitment, even if you are afraid of commitment, you must be a consummate professional. Otherwise, you won't last in this business. You can only hide for so long. <laughs> 
Nobody gets away from the Reaper in the end. No one. No one gets away from the Reaper in the end. And some of us work in the line of extending, of increasing, enlarging that distance between the present and the end. And other of us others of us and yeah others of us work in decreasing that distance sometimes very dramatically now i'm no storyteller but i'll tell someone else's story if i'm given permission so, I will, sometime in the future. Some of the shit I seen in the office and in the street. But even in the street, you see a semblance of what one might call professionalism. Even if these motherfuckers, these street cats, these these hood cats, even if they don't know what professionalism is, even if they can't point it out to you in a dictionary, it's carrying a code, carrying a sense of morality, operating on principles. By principles, four principles. That's P R I N C I P L E S, not P A L S, not principles. Because then that means you work to get paid. No, no, no. You don't want to work just to get paid, you want to work for the money. If you'll recall, you want to work what's, you want to work for what is good for money. Notice how I didn't say the money. You work for money. Yes, I get it. Money is all seeing, but never speaking. It hears everything and never actually does anything. It's just used and abused. That's why we ought to look out for it. <laughs> it's a little bit more of an esoteric concept to grapple with. But if you really think about it, what are you supposed to do with profits? That's right. Recapitalize it. Or recapitalize on it. One more time. Recapitalize with it. Because when you extract, let's say, the essence of money from a money system, you're left with just a shell, an IOU, if you will. And if you don't do anything with that money, then that IOU matures, it um, ripens, it overripens, it begins to fester and rot. It decays, that shell of what once was, it decays, and that collapse doesn't happen in a vacuum it necessarily creates a vacuum that's what's so cool about money <laughs> folks pretending like they're stashing it for a rainy day but really what they're doing is inviting the rain <laughs> yeah. 
folks. <laughs> folks, and this isn't like um. Nah, I'm not even gonna go down that route of like karma or whatever. What you do for your money is up to you. Just keep your head on a swivel, because bad things happen to good people every other day. Just like good things happen to bad people every single day. You know, balance. Balance. And it's like that in corporate. How many good managers have you actually had? One in three? Be realistic. I'm going to say about one in three. So like every other right and then for every good manager you have two inept motherfuckers who are just as deadly but they don't carry that love for the work with them and so when the time is right be it old age, be it time, be it innovation in the way of downsizing or right-sizing. The reaper comes for them too because they weren't looking out for the business. They were just extracting value, living off of the system, leeching emotion and passion from others, like their subordinates, like their colleagues, like their own managers, like a parasite. Some find it hard to deal with, but it's not that hard if you know what you're doing. It's a pattern. That's why I say like every other. So when you knock one down, there's always, always one more. Don't you forget that. One down, one more to go. One down, always one more to go. And that's forever. <laughs> because we're necessarily entry level forever. We're tied to this eternally we're consummate professionals we do it for love we do it out of love we do it for good I want to wish you a great week Got some good things coming down the pipeline. Every now and then I gotta get away and meditate a bit. In case you've seen uh, those doodles pop up on Instagram. Just things that come to mind. Some things that I've seen. Some things that I've contemplated. Some things that I foresee. It's whatever. Had a busy day today. And it's still hot out. It's barely Tuesday. <laughs> Shit is easy. Shit is easy. Even when I don't know what to do with it. Just enjoy the process. Fall in love with the challenge of surviving and pushing and thriving. Fall in love, embrace the challenge, embrace the conflict. Doesn't mean you have to take it head on. It just means you have to appreciate it. You have to evaluate it. You have to be aware it exists. It requires you 
to be mindful of your situation, of your circumstance, and where you stand in relation to everybody else. Some might stand facing you and not be your friend. Some might stand facing away from you and helping you by providing leadership. And those could be vice versa. (laughs) What a trip life is, man. Working in corporate. I never thought I'd see a mirror image. Just as intimidating as what's on the other side of it. <laughs>